Okay. So before we start our class, let us put ourselves in the presence of God for a short prayer. Father God, we thank you for your grace, love, and mercy that has been extended to us one more time. We thank you for protecting us and keeping us in our right minds, especially throughout this pandemic. Lord God, we thank you for granting us this opportunity to come together in this fashion and to increase our knowledge. Lord, you said that if anyone lacks wisdom, he should ask you and you will give it liberally without reservation. I pray today that you will grant us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Increase our capacity, Lord, as we learn. Give us understanding. O oh God, that we will be able to grasp whatever is being taught. May what we receive today be beneficial to our growth and development. Lord God, I pray, we pray for the one that will be imparting knowledge to us. We pray that you will bless them with the requisite skills and mastery as they seek to open our understanding in this area. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 15 tells us that the heart of the prudent gets knowledge and the ear of the wise seeks knowledge. So Lord, we look to you now for guidance and instruction. We ask that you bless this session in every way. Bless the participants, my, my students, and bless the instructor. Take full control, O God, and me everlasting Go according to your will and purpose. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, good afternoon, everyone. Okay, so we will recap and uh, talk about everything here as much as well. I want it. Because uh, midterm is fast approaching. Supposedly, the, the midterm exam is scheduled uh, this week, right? So, as we admit that not all of the topic were not covered yet. So, we have to make um, this um, session to discuss every lessons that we left. Uh, for your benefit also okay so you can now see my screen uh, before we start uh, by the way did you see my screen okay oh, wait, wait, wait for a while how about my audio is, is good uh, is my audio good Okay. Uh, for the others, um, laro ako tingog. Uh, is it clear for you? Same here. Uh, I am here at my home, the house. Medyo ulan jud. I guess every uh, igoro everywhere na ulan. So again, uh, my screen, can you see it? How about my audio? Um, is it is it okay? Okay. So if you have problem don't um, in in our session, don't be um, worried because I am also recording this and you may revisit it in our uh, on the video that I will provide you later. So I am now here in my code blocks. Before we start, uh, I'll create my project. If you use code blocks, this is the window you are going. You were going to use, and create a new project and choose this icon, console application. Click go, and then choose C++ language and project title. Okay. I just 
put in midterm topics uh, CSC 200 I'll just name it for that and then uh, on this window the compiler just leave it as is okay don't change anything for that click finish and then you can see on your project you can have the file main.cpp and you can now start working with your so uh, someone asked me to recap uh, class and objects is everyone okay with that or you shall start with the new lesson so my new uh, recap recap ang uban o sana recap sige to i recap lag karyot okay class is a blueprint you know that an object is an instance of a class okay in c++ in creating our class uh, for example class human that is the the keyword on creating a class and the name of the class should start with capital letter and this one so this is how we declare a class and in a class there is a class members so in our class members we have class attributes or the variable and we have class function or method those are the two members of our class and every variables if there are two variables meaning they are considered also members of our class and every variables and function has its own access specifier right uh, specifier like public private protected I will discuss with you later about the specifier but now we will just use first public okay then uh, in order for us to create an instance of our class we go to our main function for us to create our instance of our class or to create our object uh, so for example this is their class definition your class if that is ready and good to go you can now create object for that in order to, for us to create object for our class you should specify first the name of the class if that is human you should specify human here you are telling that you are asking or you are red referencing the class human here the second word is the class or the object name so the name of the object like for example obg1 so obg1 and have semicolon that means that this is the object name of the class human all the at the all the class members of object uh, one or in the object one all of the class members will be accessible as long as it is put it into public so every public uh, members could access here in your object okay so that is how we can create our our class and object so for example in our class if we have last name first name and middle name so it says specify first the access modifier that everything here are public and create a string for L name a string for F name string for middle name and string for address uh, those are class members of our class human and all specified into 
access mo di para public. So, meaning, if you have now object, and this object is from a class human, if you use the dot operator here, like obj.1, dot, you can see that all the class members of our class can be seen here because we set it into public and all once it is a public all class members can be accessible through any object okay so we can assign value we can get what is the value assigned for this object like for example if we will going to assign also uh, create a function to output information like void output info and output something lang just output the name and the address see out um student oh no that's name only and concatenation you know that the symbols to concatenate and add the last name okay and add another string that has a format well, not a format na first name no last name first name and middle name so use comma and then space for the separation of the two uh, string another concatenation which is the f name another concatenation to separate f name and middle name and m name Okay, and don't forget end line. Another output is um, this uh, address and consider address variable and end line. So in our class definition, we have five members, uh, four class variables, and one class function. All of our members are set into public okay so as we can see right now if you use this function here in this object object one as you can see you know you know that this object is from class human as you can see now colon colon human so meaning this object is belongs to human class so that operator as you can see now we have now a function output info then if we're going to choose that and run it, we can now have a template that outputs the name, outputs the address. So wait a little bit because uh, my laptop is log when I start recording our session. OBS is getting more RAM from me. Okay, right now, this is now the template for the output. We have the name and address. I, in our output, this doesn't have a value or data because we did not assign a value for our data. So we can act, we can assign a value for our data by accessing this data uh, a class variables. So we can access it here by referencing or using the object oh, that we created a while ago. Object, for example, first name. We can set a value. Okay. Um, okay, we will use okay, Anfone. Uh, Anfone, what is your first name? Christine. That is the spelling. Christine, are you there? What are you me now? Okay. Then, example that is their the Christ, uh, first name is Christine, and then OBG1. By the way, can you hear me? Okay, for me now, good mo. Okay, para ninyo ni. Okay, then OBG1 and L name. Sorry, it's wrong. L name. Okay, for example, it is, um, what is the first last name of Christine? Uh, Obordo? But Obordo ba to? And Fony. 
and OBG1 middle name who knows her wala mi kabalo example and tagaasa man siya address OBG1 Barangay Okay, Cam Puyo Man Huyod uh, Negros Oriental Okay So, that's it So, by this, we assign value um, to our individual class variables so now when we run our program we have our output ah sorry uh, we we're just signing a value and then we put end line <laughs> that's the wrong and again Okay, so as we can see, we output our data that we assign a value. We have Anpone Christine Wala Mikabalu and Barangay Manhuyod, uh, Kampoyo Manhuyod, Negros Oriental. So, this is how uh, we have a template that has this class human perform. We assign a value, we use the output command, and that's how this class human works. Right, you can create much oblic object as you want to. You can create your other object like uh, human class obj2, and we can assign value for obj2 like in some manatong ikwan. Si Christine na pod na osa na si. So f name is equal to Christine. What is your last name, Christine? Dorias OBG2 middle name. What is your middle name, Dorias? Wala na po nito ba? And OBG2 address. Okay, kabugan. Bindoy Negros Oriental Sorry, my wrong, wrong spelling Okay, that's it And then use an Output info OBG2 That output info So we have now Two objects from our class Human And every object is different and unique but you're just using the same template other objects are not work uh, it's not really dependent to each other but really using the template for our class so as you can see uh, we have now this template that outputs the information whatever uh, object it owns lain siya og data lain siya og mugawas na output because uh, no, the template of uh, the output is the same, so but the, the data is not the same. So this is how you will uh, use class and object. Any question uh, for this? Okay, so we managed to create our function. So you know that a function has its own data type, no? So, okay, so we will go to the next topic is all about constructor for a while. I know that you already are familiar with methods because you already learned it from your, so functions or method. Uh, it's still the same here. You have 
you have also access modifier in every function you can but here in this definition that means that all all of the all of the members are public uh, from attributes and to the function okay we go to constructor so i'll save it uh for you to to work with i'll just save it as a pdf class an object csc 200 so we are now go to constructor okay i'll remove it and just use everything here so we have constructor so constructor is a special method uh, that is automatically called when the object is created so for you to to see the full definition for that I just I want to paste it here for your so that is a constructor it's a message method that is automatically called when the object is called okay in order for us to create a constructor we need to be familiar that a constructor is a method so it's a kind of method uh, it is a special method in order for us to create a constructor uh, the name of the method is the same name of the class name so in order for you to create your const your constructor it might like the same like this human so this is a function uh, this is a constructor so what's as you can see if there is a function that is the similar name of the class that is automatically a constructor so a constructor is as a method so when it is automatically uh, when the object is automatically created it will automatically executed so let us try so right now wala matay constructor that we define in our class definition right now we have now our constructor and let us try to uh, see if it is really automatically called like for example without hello uh, i am a constructor so once every object that the, the class human created uh, before they will uh, uh, once that they will create an object it will call the human and performs this let us try how many objects that we have right now from our previous example okay two look at the output I forgot to put end line. L and L. Run again. Run again. Okay. So as you can see there, before, sorry, we did not, um, we did not call the constructor, but it automatically is output, right? First, hello, I'm constructor. Before, we output and assign a value. The same thing here, hello, I'm constructor. Nakita ninyo? So basically, constructor. Uh, that is the work for the constructor that automatically uh, executed 
when it is um when when the class is uh instantiated so para ninyo anong inanaman siya what is the best way why we we have constructor sige someone so may yung best uh, so may tumong sa OOP why uh, there is a constructor para ninyo ano naman siya na may constructor para malentify okay kabantay mo sa yung, yung definition that it was automatic called when the object is created no So bisag bisag ko pa kani mo siya gam, gamita na asya dia because later on in your in your development we are going to develop a big project especially if you are now concerning uh, tapping your program into databases and other configurations and other things that needed for your object uh, if there is initialization settings like um, like for example how uh, what what is the width of the window for your application uh, before runtime for example or the database connection uh, that is a pre-configuration of your object so it might have a default configuration in every object but later on in your program it will also change so constructor is the way that we can put default configuration before runtime Right? When we run our codes, there is a default configuration of your constructor. And later on, if the object is being created, then it needs to have changes of configuration, then it can also change it. But before the, the object is not yet uh, created and there is no data, probably there is a configuration and every settings that you might want the object to be to to be uh, to to perform na wala pa si ob mga functions na perform pero basic initialization like for example turning on tv before prior before prior uh, selecting channel what the tv uh, will work will work pag on mo sa tv okay. before ka on sa tv unsa may ma perform sa tv Diba? Yung brand. Or ni boot up. Ni boot up siya. Ni boot ang yung mga default configuration. No? Ni boot up siya. So, meaning, in every object is like a TV. Now, when you turn on the TV, there is something process happens before we can select channel. So, that is what will be the good um, area where if we want to load an object or create an object prior to our configuration or our blueprint uh, that object will perform na siya iyang kagaling yung initialization process so if that is your if that your program program or object behaves then the, you put your codes under the constructor kuha ninyo na ay mga inana na scenario na na pre-initialization then you put it on your uh, constructor okay so we can also use um, parameterize um, parameterize function so we can use parameterize function like parameterize parameterize param parameterize uh, so from when you have open close parenthesis we can pass data through our function because if specifically specifically kung wala pa kay initialization 
So use less than to create a function like this that just say hello I'm constructor. It doesn't mean a thing for us. We can also use um, parameterized constructor to set data from our uh, to our class variable. So as you can see here, we can assign data in our constructor to our class variable by accepting uh, or putting a parameter list like for example string uh, string input l name string input f name string input m name and string input address so as we can see here we have four parameters uh, no four arguments in our parameters uh, so we have here first name last name so we pass data through our constructor parameter and what we can do is by just doing some calculation or doing some setting of value right now since we don't have uh, to do something here right we can okay make sure now uh, the the rule of the rule of the code top to left top to right uh, no, top to bottom left to right so our constructor is way beyond obos obos yung sa to ang variables so that's it because later on we use l name uh, is equal to input L name or we can also use the the this uh, oper operator like this and accessing the input the the F name still the same as input F name or you can also use directly like what we have on our L name so M name is equal to input M name or I can use the this operator again it's up to you what kind of uh, coding you want then address is equal to input address so in our class constructor as we can uh, see in our class definition uh, we have our constructor accepts for data so meaning before prior to creating a object you need to put four data here and those data are assigning those four uh, variables so in that case uh, as we can see here we have uh, an ordinary way of accessing data so when we run it right now we can see some of the changes here run in our program wait for our console application to pop up oops but there is an error okay human okay line number 29 no matching function for call so mean human human because you are now on our class definition your constructor needs to have this for data to accept this one is only intended for having no constructor kanina setting uh, that is okay for having no constructor it will perform like what we used to be it will run so we will wait for the command line to pop up like this one but right now our class definition changes so the way we instantiate also the object will change like we will try to comment it sorry okay manually comment it everything this line And now we can create another object from human. Um, I will use. Uh, okay, sa mga ko ang 
So, Iran. So, Iran. Human Iran. So, in order for us to use it, by just instantiating, you need to put data. Like, what is your first last name, Ira, uh, Iran? It is Iran, right? Iran. First name, Warpy. What is your middle name? Make sure that all of this look at look at the the the, or, the arrangement. First is the last name, so last name. Second parameter is the first name, and the third parameter is middle name, so Romano. And address that is the fourth parameter. Iran, where where are you right now? Where is your address? Wala mi kabalo. Basta naasa Negros Oriental. Like that. So, in creating our object, we need to pass four parameters needed in our class constructor definition. So, when we run our program, we can still... Uh, no. No. Uh, we can still output it but doesn't have an error but there is also no output in our cmd command or our command line because we forgot to okay okay it's a blank one because we forgot to output also the function output info so iran um output info that's what the other one and then run As you can see, the same thing happens. It outputs the name of the student and the, 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 the name of the human and the address. But the way we set the value is not the same. We use this kind of uh, way of passing data because our constructor is this way. So questions and clarifications. How about the others? Okay. Kung wala na. Now, what if mamugus mo to be flexible enough? How can now we uh, use to, look, to have like this? Like, we can have like this and we can have also like this. Because that is also a way of uh, having uh, in OOP the, the, that your your program is much more flexible enough to accept what kind of way of coding you want to. So it's still the same, and we will use the this this uh, concept is what we call method overloading. And there is a specific topic that we can. Uh, we will talk it uh, later. But now, right now, in order for us to solve this issue by just also using this uh, previous function here, a previous way of uh, accessing the data, because right now, uh, we have uh, getting error for this kind of um, coding since our class definition is, um, is changed. So we will use to we will going to overload our constructor. So this is how we overload the constructor. We create and type again the same uh, another constructor. So we have now two constructors, but the two constructors is not the same. We have method overloading. So or constructor overloading to be exact constructor overloading so meaning overloading here in C++ or the OOP is meaning creating the same function with the same name but not the same functionality so here this function accepts four up outputs and this one for this human uh, only accepts only nothing 
So by just creating an op uh, method overloading here or constructor overloading, it helps uh, this problem and solve the issue. So when we run our program right now, we are now getting no error and we still use this human sorry i forgot to put this this one so run it again as you can see right now this one uh, Iran using constructor uh, creating object through constructor uh, constructor parameter or para parameterized constructor and the other one here cutting as you can see here we assign or create an object without con parameterized constructor and assigning it uh, manually here so the same thing here so now our program is much more flexible you have the choices to use the parameterized constructor assign value or use this kind of way so questions and clarifications before we proceed to another lesson how about the others Okay, so just save it or just give me a time. CSC 200. So if you don't have questions about constructor, we are now going to proceed uh, with our next lesson which is the access um, specifier so we're ready so access specifiers are quite familiar with you as we as we see uh, here this is an access specifier so in access specifier in C++, we, we only have um, three, um, three types of access specifier, which is AS. So what are those? So first is public. Uh, second is private. And third one is protected so meaning all class members it could be it could be um, class variables class functions or class constructor you have to specify what is the type of access modifier because we have to treat uh, treat data according to what access specifier uh, assigned to that so right now, when you say public, public uh, type of uh, data, meaning all of this data from string L name up to void function output info, all of those members here in our class human are all public. Public access modifiers members are accessible from outside of the class, meaning you can access you can ac access it. Um, here inside of the class and also you can access outside of the class because the jurisdiction or the 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 scope of this human starts here when I everything in in this area from line number five to line number 30 but since it is public as you can see here in this way of coding we manage to access first name middle name M name address output in our object outside of the class this is why we use why we can access it because we set it into public 
So now the other access specifier is private. So these uh, uh, access specifiers, members of these cannot be accessed or viewed from outside of the class. You can use it inside of the human. So you're specifying that all of these are private. So you can use it here, but you cannot use it here. So you can see here, we, we have this one. Or by specifically or to to really know it if that is really public or pub private in in in, in having an instance of a class for example if you can create obg3 obg3 dot because that operator is the one uh, this operator tells us that uh, we can access uh, what members of the class because this object tree is a uh, object from from class human so as you can see there if all of the color uh, on the bottom on the left uh, no the left on the the color of the left side of the members is torn red that means all of those are private so meaning that you cannot access it nang red kung public na siya if you try to use it, it again and access it, it will turn to it. It will turn to green. Kuan ninyo. Meaning, if that is green, meaning that is public. Meaning you can access it. So if if we pr uh, put it into private, so meaning all of those things that you access it will now longer accessible. When you run your program, you have an error. You are having an error for this because everything is private. So you cannot access all of those things. Kuan in your error context because that is public. So, meaning. You can only use it inside of here on the scope. And we have also the same thing with is protected okay. If we can see it here that uh, protected uh, turns the color or the bullets into blue. That means protected. So protected and private is the same, but they can be accessed in inherited classes. So na ka inheritance na puhon, then na ka is butang na protected. So meaning you can use it inside here and also those. And uh, if this is your base class or your your college the base class, so meaning all the derived classes will also uses those sprite protected um, variables so this is the three access specifier in c++ or in uh, in our class so any questions and classification uh, and maybe clarification <laughs> Okay, so now, if we set into private here, okay, if we set into private, we are now go to the concept of encapsulation. So since we have now having a private here, data, data, make sure now uh, all of our functions must set it into public para naratay uh, things that we can access to but our 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 class attributes are private um, and public is uh, the one our functions are the one that we can access to okay so once your data or variables are private 
now we are on the concept now on encapsulation so the meaning of encapsulation is to make sure okay uh, that sensitive data is hidden from the user so to achieve that encapsulation your at variables or attributes attributes are set into private so maka private nga ka muna nang nata encapsulation because uh, why we have to hide data we need to hide data because we don't want that the user of the program assign a value directly to our variable here okay remember that variable is a storage of information or data that also lead us in the heart and soul of our program because this also uh, data that we capture from the user will be saved to our database and that serve as a window for the hackers or other people that can be kanang kuan gani uh, can be accessed to ang programmer uh, you must also maintain your security um, because we don't know the kind of user this the program will use is it the actual user or so maybe some of those are only uh, making it for fun or may, some of those are hackers and hackers put their uh, codes on the in user's input instead of assigning value like Christine an example uh, they will create a codes like this like question mark select all from for example and some codings that you don't need to in your program but eventually it will perform in your without knowing your consent this is what really uh, happening right now so once a variable that is why we have to set uh, some um, like this to make this data to be private for us to make sure that the security of our variables meaning the we must save the data before we may, before we save the data we must check the input we need to clean it and we will going to sanitize it for us before assigning the value to that variable to us to make us feel safe or to, to our program make safe unlike he like this kind of way that we are directly assigning it the value and we don't want to do that uh, especially remember using the cn the cn you have to let the user input something and we cannot control what the what the user input right so that is why we have to control make a function for that to control so we are now in the concept of encapsulation so how we can use still use assign a value uh, for l name f name address by putting it into private so that is our task here right now how we can do it first we can use it through this um, parameterized constructor before assigning this value you can to make sure you perform uh, first before us before assigning perform um, input checking uh, then input validation okay then input uh, sanitation sanitize sanitation rug sanitation is that's the spelling so before you assign a value for that to make make sure that you assign the value for that so one way of doing that is is the parameter constructor but the problem for that what if you have 
30, sorry. But if you have 30, um, 30 class variables that are private, and you should put uh, 30 parameters also in your um, constructor. So it might also very complicated if the gana kayo siyang um, pass a data to pass in your in your constructor. So it is good only for this if you only have a few of variables to work with. But if you want to make it much more flexible and much more uh, go to the standard, we are going to perform the getter and setter function. Uh, okay? For the encapsulated uh, encapsulated class variables. So we will have the getter and setter. So in order for us to set data, we need to have setter. So it is a function that sets data. So since we are going to set of data, don't mind the data type that is only void because we don't need a return value. Since we have now more more functions that to create, we need to perform some naming convention. You set, for example, you said key, keyword like set set first name because if how many functions, uh, how many attributes here that are being private, that is also the number of functions you are going to create for setter, and other, and that is also the number of functions you are going to create for the getter. So. If that is four here in this example, we also to create four, um, four setter and four getter. Okay, so right now change uh, name the variable. If if I were you, you no know, to to just use this keyword set and followed by the second word, uh, which is the name of the uh, encapsulated. Um, variable, for example, L name. So just use um, set L name. Okay. I use the camel casing. Uh, I have two words here, uh, but putting it in one word, set an L name, two words, put it in one word, and the first cap, first character of the second word is capitalized. We call it camel casing. So that is the name of the function that I have for set l name and now i need this is a parameterized function to set a value for set name so you're asking a value to be inputted for set name so you can have like um string input l name so there is on we can now set a value for input name like for example for the l name we have the value for l name l name and assign value for that for input L name. So there we can do whatever we want for input L name. We can first before we assign it uh, first sign, um, check or validate input then second Um, clean or sanitize input and the last one what uh, uh, assign input to class variable L name. So in this case, 
we assign value and we have also an assurance later on if we have now the validation and the cleaning of input that we assign a value that is very good and clear for your uh, program na dili siya maka affect so this is what we call setter and this is only intended for l name so you are going to create another one for f name and another one for middle name and last one for address we can use another one void we can use set underscore another name naming convention set uh, i use uh, underscore for us to put two words together like set f name uh, string input f name okay i'll just directly setting it because right now we don't have a function to validate later on in our program we will do it uh, for now i use f name is equal to input f name that's it we can use another one set uh, or we can, or depending, we can para, uh, para M name. You can, you can work it for your, your naming convention. Uh, M name, string, input, M name. And class variable M name is equal to input M name. And the last setter, we have void para m name a string input oh, this is address sorry para address input address and i have address is equal to input address so we have now four different setters for different plus variables so we manage to set value from the variable indirectly. Indirectly siya because di siya directly mo save diri but it will use another function, a function to set it and do whatever you want for that variable so that you can check and finalize that the inputted data are saved. Okay, so in here, instead of using that f name directly, all we need to do is to use Okay, I'll just copy the name here. Okay, instead of that F name, we use that set L name and paste it here. So we are now assigning a value to a function. The same name here. Set F name. Okay. You have para. It's up to you what naming convention you are comfortable with. Para underscore address that's it for a while i double sorry double quotation so run um wrong here we need to put it outside so there is an error on the line 69 uh, because of this 69 so we'll do I'll just comment it here for us to test it correctly because it's time consuming Also, I'll, I'll also remove this human 
uh, for the third object. So right now, run our program. As you can see now, this is the one using the center, Christine and Fonny. Wala may kabalo and address barangay kapalam na yung certain thoughts. So, this is how we manage to set indirectly the data of our class variable to a setter. So, any questions and clarifications before we go to the getter? So, Uban, Tingog, Surgeon mo ha. Sure ha. Kay pasigmingo na po mo na sa lahat na mo. Kuhan mong good sir Bernard. Mong good. Wala mong good ni Kuhan. Muna na na. Okay. So let's now proceed to getter. So getter is the one that gets data. Ano man, um, again, again, make sure that our program or our classes, our class is flexible enough. Okay, in our output info, we create a function that outputs everything. Probably in your program, it might need some individual data. Like, in your program, only need, needs only the F name or it only needs the address so you are going to get uh, individual data for the more flexible so to do that since we cannot directly uh, call it because that is a private one we make an indirect function and this one is uh, here okay a comment kanitanan is more on uh, the setter and here it's more on the getter so, if how many, um, the number of getter also the same the number of class variables are being encapsulated. So, we have four here, the same here uh, thing with the setter, we have four in the getter. So, in the getter, you should always uh, think that the getter needs a return type because it gets data. So, if that is a, having a return type, make sure to know what kind of data type you are going to use. Since uh, the best thing that you can do is just check the data type here on your um, list of string or uh, list of data or variables in your class definition, and that is the data type that you want to return also. So all of our data type right now is string. So how we can create a set getter uh, string and the name of the function, for example. Uh, kuha or you can have get uh, use the comments get, uh, comments get l name and in setter we don't need a parameter uh, a data to submit to pass in our parameter because we're just getting data so nakalay lang sa getter na ay na asya data type pero wala siya parameter list yung return siya return. Ang sa setter, void siya, di na asyay, na asyay, parameter, gisubmit, uh, natin parameter list. So here, return, what, what data you're going to return. So for example, l name. So in, in calling get, get name, you're going to return whatever is the l name. Uh, for that so do the same thing for the three objects uh, for, for the three class variables string get uh, I can just use the, the different different uh, case uh, um, styling of uh, naming convention I got f name return F name, you have string, kuha, 
m name for example you can name it kamore bahala return m name or we can use koha underscore address you may also use the reference this uh, return this address same thing this or without this still the same so in this one we can also specify for example what data you are going to ask uh, to output like um, uh, see out uh, address only So use obg1 dot get address or koha address. So by that we can specify um, what data you are going to get. Um, I forgot to put uh, this one. Run it again. Still work not working. Still the same. Um, let's do the same thing. I guess more na air. I say popin dot. It's working naman. Ano okay na? As you can see here, address only, nakuha niya ang Campo Human Huyod, Negros Oriental. Uh, by just getting only the, the address, using the getter. So, any questions, clarification about encapsulation? The process that we did here, um, um, making private all the attributes, then after that, creating a setter, and getting the getter and knowing the the idea why we don't have that one why we have that one is actually what really encapsulation is all about so any question clarification about encapsulation wala ra sure jun mo nag uso man nag overload din yung utok wala Hmm? Ano man? Maraming ko storytelling. Maraming na ikaw storytelling diri. <laughs> Makaya na ninyo. A oh, good, salamat na di pangutan na sige. Oh, na aman. Pwede na ninyo. Um, why, why I have, the, I did not um, ask you to do because we are still on adapting um, the concept of OOP. Akong gihan ay ninyo ang basic thing. Like, uh, the concept of it. Later on, kana mga CNC ninyo dira, magsasod-asod na na. Wala naman kay maglisod man niya mo pohon. Okay ra, okay ra wala pa isin because here we are just really uh, concentrating the concept of it. Later on maka-establish nyo tag ato ang kaganing ng class. Uh, in your class, that is the time na is up to you if we're going to see in or not. It's up to you. Wala ni kanis yung mga inaani. Kani, dali raman niyo. Also, pwede raman niyo na gamit kag variable and use the see it. But the concept behind it, kay madugay na maguta, magran, input pata. So, it's time consuming for us to to discuss it. That's why I have to use it the basic way, kaning assigning manually to this one. 
Okay, so question. Nalak pa na yung question. Yes. Oh, also may save ang Um, uh, ako na nang i-save. Ako na ipanghatag ninyo ni. Sa ako muna ako ni. Ako uh, i-save. This is the topic for encapsulation. Uh, encapsulation um, CSC 200. Okay. Uh, na po tayo 13 minutes. And we have now on the second last topic. Ngayon gumanda na ako ang polymorphism. I will go to the inheritance. Kaya pa? For the last 13 minutes. Anong kaya mo cut mana? Ito, sige, ito ang paspaso na yun. Later on, um, at least na discuss na ako ninyo, tanan. Then, next meeting, mamit ko ninyo for your kuan, activities. Then, unyan lang ko mo exam ninyo, kung makasabot na mo kay mga hagbong niya mo, pag kamanawag exam na ninyo mo kabalo. Okay, so we go to the next, uh, the, the last topic that we have on uh, karon sa karon session, which is the inheritance. Okay, nakasabot na mo inheritance that time, but we have, we have seen a video for it. So, kasabot lang mo. Kung saan ang inheritance. Nakapamilya na pa mo? Nak nakalimot na mo? Or, kung saan ba? Nas you're still on your, in your mind. Si inheritance. Okay. Si inheritance. Like, for example, uh, everything is, it is for human, right? And this class is for human. Example that we will create another class for employee, and we have to grab all the this one. We'll declare it as a base class, and the other one is the derived class. So, ang inheritance is to inherit the attributes and the methods from one class to another. So that is inheritance. And then we consider that our here in our class we have two kinds of our class or the two categories of our class. It it could be a base class or a derived class. A base class is the one that imo ang tanang attributes niya imo pwedeng pakipi imo ipakopya. Ang derived class ang mukopya. Mura ni siya og sa exam. Nag-exam ta ron. Ang answer ni Barenyo, o si Barenyo moy, source answer mo na siya ay Unsa na siya? Sa tuaron there is inheritance. Mo na siya ay base. Base class. Base na siya. Kamo tanang nanuhid, mo na ipasabot og de derive so, meaning kay, kung ano nang derive man, kung inyo mga answer, wala gikan ninyo, gikan ni, barin nyo, muna yung derive, gets ninyo. Since, doon man ka book class na ito ang function, uh, doon na book class na ito ang file, so that is the time we are going to declare, kinsa ito ang base, o kinsa ito ang derive. So, for example, this class human is our base class. Okay, this is our base class. Then, we will going to create another class, or probably here. Uh, we were going to create class employee. Okay, is employee is a class, uh, is a human also, diba? Because employee has a name, first name, middle name, or address. So, in order for us to save our codes, instead of creating, um, creating the same codes with redundancy, we are now saving it and making this employee class a derived derived class from human. 
So this employee is a derived class from human. So meaning we will going to copy all the attributes that we declare here for our class human to employee. So we will copy the, that one. Ang imo na lang kinahanglan dere sa imo class employee is unsa man. Ah, uh, okay, set into public sa ta dere. Public sa ta. Unsa man like string date hired string department then double salary for example. Those are the attributes that the employee uh, needs. But the other things like last name, first name, middle name, di na ka magama. Pag string, L name, F name, ug middle name, you will no longer uh, create L name here. Why? Because we, there is already a class that has an L name, F name, and first name, which is ang class human. So, imo ang buha ton, imo siyang imo ang base, ane, eh, kanina may derive. So, to how to make it as a, how to make this work as a code, kay gisulti naman na to, to do that, ari diri sa imong derived class, you put colon here, dungagan lang nimo, you put colon, and put public, and next is the name of the class, like human. So, pasawat ani, ang imong class na employee is ad derived from public human. Ano yung ni mo, ana? So, tanang attributes and functions of the human is now inherent here. Nasapian na siya. Kasi hilig o mga abat-abat diya. O, kaning imong employee diya, nasapian na siya sa, sa human. To test it out, to test it out, Go to the main here. Uh, I'll just remove the object too. And create now, like for example, employee. Because we are now concentrating with the um, employee class. So, employee, like for example, uh, programmer. Okay. So, see employee programmer. So, if you're going to go to the that operator to check what are the available uh, class members here on our on our em employee class so go to the object which is the programmer which is the instance of the class employee and that operator you can see here the bunch of class members that you can assign to we have address kana address asa man gikan Good. Date hard. Say yarang ko galingon sa employee. Department. Say yarang japong ko galingon. Ang F name. Sa human class. Ang get L name. Get F name. Human human constructor. Then kuha M name. Kuha address. Those are from the from the human, but here we can in programmer we can use set l name and assign for example. Kasi tong ganang programmer, kasi ganang mo programmer da volunteer ningog oh si Biloira first name last name Biloira okay. Programmer dot set underscore f name. Make sure makain nung dumo kasi ba mga naming convention. Aaron. Um, programmer dot para um, rag para sa mundo. Para m name. Yeah. But is your middle name Aaron? Ban Ana, Mantilio. And uh, programmer dot address para address. 
Barangay Uno by City. By City Negros Oriental. Then, programmer output info. Okay. To Iran. Uh, before Anna, we'll create a C out that really move the output and see the. Okay, run our program. As you can see here, our programmer has now a name. Okay, Biloira Aron Bontilio, address, Barangay Uno by City. Nakita ninyo ang inyong class definition sa inyong programmer, as sa inyong employee. Walay name, walay F name, walay address. But as you can see, by the power of inheritance, we are saving much more codes and much more redundancy. Because we just inherit it and use it. So, that is the power of inheritance. Questions and clarifications before we proceed. About the others. So, na-amaze mo how, how powerful OOP is. Oh, you can still use. Di ba naman tayo get address ganiya din eh. Namatay get address dere eh. Asa to ron? Uh, Natay get ad, a get name naman to no? Kuha. Kuha. O sa man ang name ah. Sige bulag ko man na to ni. Eh. M name. Nabay o ba? Depende sa inyong class definition. Pwede po kung mana po ka dere. Eh. Mabutan ka dere. Eh. String. Kuha. Complete. Name. Then. Depende sa inyong class definition. Return. Like, for example, what is your format? Depends on your format. So, for example, uh, maguna ang first name. So, we have F name. Diba? Then, add uh, the concatenation operator for another is add muna plus sign. Then, plus sign um, M name. Plus sign. Kaya di yung taka pwede gamit atong insertion operator katong na ay doa kag arrow kay kato gamit siya to for a see out lang to kani wa mamatay see out ga return naman ta so kani atong gamiton kon another kon operator for concatenation then the last one is the l name so that's one so pwede ka buku ga maog laing getter na method depende ninyo wala ko ni na pwede na siya na kana ra gyud depende sinyo ang class definition so Good to to hear that question. So that here, kung dire, pwede ni mo siyang makuha ara directa. Like see out, complete name ra imo ang kwaon. Use you just use a programmer that kuha kuha ba to? Complete name. So in that case, you only get the complete name of the programmer. Kaya yung output man good tibo. Okay, kurang kulangan ko plus sign. Ang continuation. Run. So you can see here. Uh, name. Asa oh, complete name? Odra. We have Aaron Bantilio Biloera. So, nakuha rin yung mga complete name. O, pwede kag individual name mo, pwede rasan. So, that is the power of um, the, co the combination of encapsulation plus polymorphism. Ano? Plus inheritance. So, pwede na bukang mga mga direct yung mga kagalingon yung class definition. Like, magamakag yung mga kagalingong functions or method here. Like, 
um, void output employee details so pwede na kang output like see out uh, date hired then date hired and line see out um, department then um, department and line then see out um, salary salary and line okay na na then make sure no make sure that always uh, right now when the nakabalo na mo encapsulation uh, i prefer um, in my case i preferred to set it into private One uh, private, then functions will public. So here, all we need to do, it's up to you. Um, if you use the parameterized constructor uh, or the setter or getter, it's up to you. But must mayo kung na ay parameterized constructor na po sa setter or getter to make sure that there is a flexibility of your codes. Uh, your your class your your class de, uh, design. Kaya pwede man ka na uh, kung matulur pa pwede ako class constructor. So to set a value, it's up to you. But for now, in my demonstration, I will make it the most of it. So pwede ko magama ko dere og um, constructor for this. Okay. I'll set it into public first. Okay, so um, employee um, I need um, I need um, string for input date hired string input department and string no oh, that's double double salary so remember later on we do uh, cleaning uh, cleaning and um, a validation and cleaning validation and cleaning of input before assignment so for now we do it directly date hard is equal to input date hard sorry and department is equal to input department department then salary um, is equal to input input sorry wala di ko i'll put it input salary okay so in that case i have now a constructor for an employee to work with so here when i create a employee programmer i always because now it makes it error error gina siya because we don't now have um, this kind of uh, um, uh, in our class definition, there is no class um, constructor that has a, having a no parameterized value. So, kani, tanga lang dira. So, the first, yang department, uh, yang date hard, karong adlawa, 10, 17, 20, 22. Okay, then the second one is department. Okay, yan department is uh, coding department. 
And yung salary, for example, 100,000. Okay. So now when we run, we have those info na we submit in our data. In our constructor, by the way. So, we don't have an output getting an output because we did not output the what? Katong ato ang output employee details. So, ang atong employee, udong nga nato og programmer output employee details. So, that's it. Na makita na what what we, we pass it on our parameter constructor. So as you can see now, date hired, department, salary is now included in our output information. Okay, question? Before we are going to create setter and getter for this. Wala, oh, how about the others? Okay, so lastly, to, to make it much more nicer, uh, we will going to create setter and getter for this for our um, private uh, string and okay so setter uh, void ang setter void set date hard and once the date voids as a setter na agin shy parameter so string input date hard and whatever the data like date hard is equal to input date hard ano lang ka simple void another one set department string input department set no no sorry po department is equal to input department pwede po og para depende ni mo sa inyo ang kon uh, salary uh, string oh no this is double sorry for that double input salary we can use the this operator if you want salary is equal to input salary. So, this is now the setter. We can set now um, by creating another prog uh, another employee. We can create okay. I'll grab this one. Uh, employee class um, for example, so my Tony manager. So manager that, for example, set date hard. So nana say date hard. Okay, for example, na na hard siya gahapon, sixteen. manager that department I uh, sorry that is set department hmm, so for coding department uh, manager para salary Okay, 200,000. Okay. So we now have manager that employee output 
employee details if you run our code error why we have an error because in our class definition in our employee our class has a list to make it much more naamoy flexibility o ganahan silang inani ilang design yod o para makaset siya og department all you need to do is create an overload for the employee i overload lang din ninyo and i leave it blank this one solves the problem para na atay we call it flexibility you overload the name on a blank here and the error that we get into a while ago solves it and what is the solution for that okay so ang inyo ang prop ang inyo ang button karo na assignment na ako na continue ni gaman ninyo sa getter gaman ninyo na setter o getter malaman getter na lang Iwasa lang ninyo na get there. Iwan na tayo time. Paano may load. So, questions and clarifications before we end up. I hope you'll learn something with me. Tanan? Kani tanan? Okay, di makakagama o manager kung wala employee, di ba? Uh, malang mudrikta ka. So, ah, wala, di ka nagama o employee, wala ay class human, di ba? What, what I mean, muna siya kung ipasabot. Uh, basic inheritance. CSA 200. Okay ra ba? Am I, am I bad? Am I bad? Mo, kwan na, murag karong si manahon na. Okay ra ba? Is it okay? Nasabtan ra ba akong discussion? Am I, a, am I good or bad instructor? Just give me just give me a, a hands up if okay ra ba akong discussion? Good. Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate um, because no, at least na yung nakatunan. So this uh, that is uh, what we learned from class objects, um, from class objects, um, constructor, access specifier, encapsulation, and inheritance. I know it makes your uh, mind overload, uh, but in later end, if you study it well, uh, I know that um, you will you will succeed and pay you, repay you what you go and get, what you you what struggle with. So to end the class, uh, let us have a short prayer. Let us put ourselves to the presence of God. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, uh, thank you for this time together. I pray that you would bless this class, that you would use these lessons to draw us closer to your heart. May we be mindful of the world around us and the needs of our neighbors. Bless each of us with your love and mercy so that we may serve in your name. Amen. Okay, so thank you guys. Um, I'll just uh, post everything uh, later. Uh, but before we end up uh, our discussion, uh, let us uh, put our uh, documentation. Uh, turn on your camera first. I'll stop now recording.